Before we go much further, I'm going to go over here to the Layers palette and actually uh, name some of these layers because when you're working in Photoshop, and particularly on a project like this, when you've got heaps and heaps of layers, it's really good practice um, to uh, keep them labeled properly. Um, now what I'm going to do is uh, start to add some mouth shapes to this animation. Uh, I'm going to hold down Control tab, jump into iPhoto, and grab the first mouth shape. Uh, drag it down to the Photoshop icon and open it up in Photoshop. Now to add a mouth shape, um, I'm very very simply going to grab the elliptical marquee tool, um, draw a circle around this mouth shape, uh, making sure I get sort of um, any, if you have dimples, um, get those as well, and try to be reasonably generous uh, in your selection. I'm going to go up to the select menu, drop down to modify, and feather the selection. Now this depends on uh, really uh, the resolution you took the photos at. I'm going to try about 20 pixels um, but you might need to experiment and see whether it just nicely uh, feathers the edge of the selection. I'm going to hold down Command X to cut this out. Um, what you'll notice here is that it's, um, it is a fairly uh, generous feathering around the edge of the selection so it should blend in with my other photo nicely. I'm going to close this document because I don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to go to Command V and paste the mouth shape in. Once again, holding down Command T um, and holding down Shift as I drag the selection allows me to um, manipulate the size of this mouth and position it like that. That, that doesn't look too bad. It kind of looks a little bit cheesy. Uh, what I'm going to do is go over here and grab the, the layers palette um, so that you can see what happens um, when I turn this mouth shape um, on and off. It sort of looks a little bit like I'm talking. Now uh, what you will notice is that uh, in this second photo the the color of my uh, face is slightly um, different. What I'm going to do is go up to uh, image, adjustments, hue and saturation and I think if I just um, darken that slightly it'll blend in a little better with the um, original picture. Often it's simply a matter of just uh, making it slightly lighter or darker. And there we go, turning that on and off by clicking on the eye icon um, gives you an example of what it'll look like when it's animated. I'm going to leave it off for the moment and I'm going to repeat this for every different mouth shape and every different expression that I have. Now you'll notice that um, I have a bunch of layers here that are turned off and if I turn them on and off individually um, you'll notice that I've got a whole bunch of different mouth sounds, uh, mouth shapes that correlate uh, with different sounds. So I should be able to match these images up um, and do some rudimentary lip syncing. What I'm going to do now however is um, to give a bit more movement to my animation uh, I'm going to duplicate this head twice um, so that we can have the um, the face tilting left and right as I speak. Um, what I'm going to do is grab all of the layers, uh, all of the mouth shapes and the face and I'm going to do that by holding down the shift key and clicking on the top layer and clicking on the very bottom uh, the neutral head layer. I'm then going to drag these into um, onto the new group the add a group icon. And what you'll notice is they get put into a little folder like this. I'm going to call this folder uh, straight face just so I can distinguish it from the others that I create. I'm now going to drag this and drop it onto the um, create a new layer icon and it duplicates it. I'm going to call this one tilt left. Then I'm going to take this folder and drop it onto the create a new layer icon to make a copy of it and I'm going to call it tilt right. So to start off with I'm going to turn off the straight face and turn off tilt right. Um, now with the tilt left folder I'm going to select command T to free transform the objects in this layer and tilt everything slightly to the left like so and hit enter when I'm done. Turning on the tilt right folder I'm going to go to command T once again and tilt the head slightly uh, this time to the right. Of course I have to click on that particular layer to modify it. And tilt it slightly to the right, like that. And hit enter when I'm done. Now you'll notice that I have um, three lots of faces. Uh, one in the center 
um, and one tilting slightly left and right. Now what I have to do in order to uh, take these into iMovie and start to animate them and do some lip syncing, um, I need to save each of these images individually. So I'm going to open up the straight face um, folder and I, the first one I'm going to export is just this image uh, with the neutral expression. I'm going to go to File, Save for Web and Devices, and I'm going to save this as a um, high resolution JPEG. So I'm going to turn the quality up to 100%, make sure it's set to JPEG, and press Save. Now it's really useful. Um, if you create a special folder structure for organizing these. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, create a new folder and I'm going to save it as um, Photomation Stills. And in there I'm going to put all of the images that I save. I'm going to call this one Straight Neutral because it's the uh, neutral face and it's straight. I'm going to hit enter and there we go, we've saved one image. Yep, you just realized the scary part. You have to go through and do this for absolutely every image that you have. Um, so when this is done saving, I'm going to turn on the first mouth shape, which happens to be the R sound. I'm going to go to File, Save for Web and Devices. Click on Save because it's remembered my settings from before. I'm going to call this one Straight, and I'll call this R because that's the R sound. I'm going to turn off the R sound, turn on the E mouth shape, and save that one. And I'm going to repeat that every time for every different uh, face and every different mouth combination. So in the end, we're going to have um, really about um, 32 different images um, with different mouth shapes and different head um, positions.